I'm going. All right, awesome. Hello, um, Emily based in here with Wild Seed Project. Um, we've gotten a lot of questions recently about what to do with your seedlings. Um, congratulations to all of you who have successfully grown on lots of seedling plants from your winter sowing. Um, so I've got a few examples here of what you can do if you want um, when it's, you've got plants grown. So my first example here is sundial lupin. Uh, they did a great job growing, but they are out of room <laughs> in their pot. This is a really good example of something that can be moved into a bigger pot. I'm not ready to start dividing plants yet. Um, and these guys aren't quite grown up yet enough to divide them. There's a lot here that don't have their true leaves, even though several do have them. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it into a larger pot here. And the type of pot doesn't really matter as long as it's a bit bigger. So I'm gonna put some soil in my pot, leave a little room for the, the plant. And just very carefully, it's got some roots coming out of the bottom. Just gonna kind of squeeze the pot, give it a little tap. Try to be gentle. Yep. And the whole thing pops out. I'm gonna give it a little bit of teasing of the roots so that it, to encourage it to really spread into this bigger pot and I'm just gonna sink it right in. Carefully plant it. Might need to move some soil around. But... You can see some of them are already starting to spread out. And they'll perk right up. It already looks happier in this bigger pot. So my next example is this guy. So you've got a couple options that you can do with this. This is zigzag goldenrod. Um, a lot of our native plants germinate throughout the season. Um, and this guy has a few that are a lot bigger and a few that are a lot smaller. Um, so one thing you could do is put it in a larger pot. Another thing you could do is just grow it on um, and focus on the, the bigger ones. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this into four larger pots. Um, it'll give me a lot more time before I have to divide things up. So this one's going to be a little bit trickier, um, but I'm going to get a little bit of soil in each pot just to get it ready. Again, I'm gonna to try to very carefully dump this out. Let's see if it holds together at all. We've got some good root structure there. And then very carefully, I'm gonna turn this into four sections. Probably could have brought my trowel knife. But it's dividing pretty nice. going to lose a few. That's the point of adding lots of seed. Divide this one up. Try to get it fairly even. And then just like with the lupins, I'm going to tuck them in there. I'm not packing this soil very tight. Um, 
letting the roots really have a chance to, to root out and get in there. And that is that for those guys. Um, I'll make sure to label each of those. And I'll do that for each of, of these other three too after this. But I wanna show a couple other examples. So here's some golden Alexander and some black eyed coneflower. And these guys are starting to get their true leaves, but really these both can be just left to grow on. Um, they're not ready to get divided and they'll be fine for, for several weeks. Um, and what I'll do with these is just keep watering them, keeping an eye on when they're getting actually too crowded. My last example is gonna be this guy. This is some Cranesbill geranium. This is just about big enough now. If you wanted to divide them and put them into individual pots, you could. Um, I would probably do between three and five individual plants um, per square pot. The other thing you can do is just put it in a larger pot and grow it on and plant it when you're ready to plant it in the ground, probably in the fall. Um, these guys are about at the size where you can do a lot more with them. And that's it for transplanting in the spring for now. <laughs>